hello. Oh, we're nearly at the end. 2020, it's all done with. Ready for 2021. 2020, what a year it's been. We've had highs, we've had lows, we've had ups, we've had downs, we've had stresses, we've had everything in 2020. So we have a look at 2020. No trim diaries. Twelve. So what a year it's been, 2020. So we'll start off in January, back to work, getting vans ready, getting ready for the season to start, getting ready for people to come along to buy the motorhomes, off to the auction, um, selling a few through there, buying a few through there, um, and just everything's ticking along. And we started to do the motorhome diaries, which is a little bit of an insight into what we go through every day of the week, the different things we have to do to, in order to get a motorhome out. Um, one video we did do was the cost of buying a used motorhome, which I was blown over by the response it got. And we have got some more in the pipeline of the cost of buying different things, which we're going to be doing for next year. And then we move into February and it was the motorhome show. And I missed the motorhome show and I can't wait till the next one. So we went off to the motorhome show in February. For anybody who's not been to the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC in Birmingham, it's every February and October. And basically, there's every single motorhome, camper van, caravan, um, static homes, places to go and visit. Everything there is under one roof and it's a great day out. So if you've not been before, let's have a little rewind and have a look see what we got up to back in February. So today we're in the Caravan and Motorhome Show at the NEC. So we're going to have a look around at all the different motorhomes and camper vans and see what takes our eye. And today I'm with Shane from We Buy Any Motor Caravan. Hello. And we'll have a look and see what we can see. Hey. <laughs> 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 This is a great van. This is a great van. Shane, this is on the weather. Now, look at that lounge. I mean, I'm just going to go and sit down there. I do miss the motorhome show. We have so much fun there, and I can't wait for the next one and hopefully see you around there. Now, making videos, sometimes it's not all that easy. Sometimes, I do make the odd little mistake. So we've got the table. We'll take the table. Hang on. Just keep it rolling, mate, then you can just cut it. Okay. It's really is. We're going to have an argument with this table. So we've got our dinette table. Right. I'm, I'm going to put the legs down right. Cycle rack. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> and then sometimes you will have roll out slats there to make up the bed. But with this one, you just get the table. Oh, it's not rang! <laughs> and there's our bed. And then all the cushions go across to make up your double bed. He wasn't very good at setting up uh, motorhome beds, was he? 
So, right, where were we? We've done the motorhome show, we're coming into March, and that's when things changed. That's when life changed, actually. That's when everything changed, of what we knew. And that's when things became pretty serious. So at one moment, life's all normal. Uh, we're working away, uh, we'd sold quite a few vans, um, we got roughly about half a dozen vans to get out, um, and then all of a sudden, coronavirus, that comes along. Um, we had to close down the business the other day um, because we're not an essential business and quite rightly so that we do close the business down so we've shut up shop. We're all in isolation now, uh, we're all at home and it, it feels quite surreal really. Um, it feels like I'm on holiday but I don't know when the holiday's going to end. This time of the year is normally your busiest time of the year in the industry. As far as our business goes, we've written the year off now. Two months, April and May, they were dark, dark times. Where was the world going? I think I remember I kept normality, getting up at the same time as I'd get up to go to work, exercising, um, but actually spending good time with the family and also getting all the jobs done at home. Um, but it was strange, strange times. Where was the light? What was gonna happen? But somewhere life will get back to normality. Business will get back to normal, I was sure of it. So we were starting to look at my business when we came out of all this, because what I saw was the way we're gonna do business and selling motorhomes was gonna change. It was gonna be social distancing, things had to change. And we had the power of YouTube and social media where we could do the videos and still sell the motorhomes if we came out of this. So it was time to get busy in March and April and May. It was time to go to work, but not to be at work. And then I found I could talk about motorhomes with friends, live, and with lots of people watching. I feel chilled, mate. I've caught up on everything. Yep. I've, paperwork's caught up. Everything's caught up. Did it by about Tuesday. And then last week, last week was our first Saturday since opening back up that we didn't sell anything. It was like, this is a bit strange, this is. Some I know what you did. I know what you did. You bottled it, didn't you? I did. You put I some did. on the it's internet, didn't you? You bottled it. <laughs> it's going crazy. Martin Sills, hi, Lee. What's the average cost for a damp check? Check. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I mean, I mean, I know around here it's around about probably about 40 odd quid. So tonight I'm going to review uh, a family motor home. Mark's got a horror caravan and it's two parts. Yeah, he's also going to do a giveaway. <sighs> Who'd have thought I'd be dressed up as the Joker live on a YouTube show? You'd have never thought it. Oh, I enjoy doing the Motorhome and Caravan show live, I really do. So we'd done about six or seven, I think, and then we were coming to June and we were allowed to open. And I'll tell you, I never guessed what was about to happen next. Man, I went from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Pull up out the lot, no more lease, we pay cash. Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jack. Another day. Flexing so much it hurt me. The rock came in dimes, now I sat it down my shirt. I remember them days we couldn't wait for the first. He finally made me a meal, now we eating off the verse. Yeah, but I remember. And what I didn't expect, I didn't expect the old country wanted to buy a motorhome. But when you really thought about it, the only place people could go on holiday at the moment was through campsites. So the old motorhome industry absolutely exploded. And from being just a small company, doing two or three motorhomes a week, we trebled our sales. And it was intense times. June, July, August, September, October. It was crazy because we were trying to get the vans right. Um, if there was any problems, we were having to fix them and get them out. Um, and everybody wanted the van straight away. Uh, what Alt was doing the YouTube videos as well, so we could keep social distance. People could go and pick the van up, take it home, and then they'd also got the video of the handovers. So that worked really well. And it was just crazy, crazy times. 
and then we're getting towards the end of the year and So today we're going to have a look at a Trigano Tribute. This is an Autocruise Starburst Swift Select 122. This is a Rapido 9048DF. Swift Sundance 630L. Swift Contiki 649. That was a lot of motorhomes we've got out this year. Well, from June to basically September, October, a lot, a lot of motorhomes, um, a lot of Andover videos, and a lot of people ask me in the comments as well, how much is this motorhome? Because I don't put the prices on. These videos that I've been doing were all handover videos, so the people who were buying the motorhomes knew how to set them up and everything they need to know about that motorhome. Um, because obviously with social distancing we couldn't do proper handover videos and that's what they are but next year what we will do is we'll start to get a lot of the sales ones on there we just couldn't keep up this year um, we'll get some more diaries out for you a lot more how to's and a few other different features plus we're going to have the motorhome and caravan show that'll be going out every week different videos with a live at the end of the month um, don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button and please subscribe to us. It does mean a lot to us. So where were we? November. November, second lockdown again. And I didn't really have an awful lot to do. Well, there is always something to do. And now's the good part of giving all the side of the van a good wash. And there's nothing to think about other than washing a van. I do enjoy washing a van off. There's nothing better for cleaning your mind and just losing yourself and washing a van off. Um, so we come out of lockdown in December and I think everybody rushing to get the Christmas presents and, and everything else. Um, so we've got good news. We've got a vaccine now. Um, that's starting to get rolled out. And then maybe springtime next year, we might start to get a little bit of normality. Well, I hope so. And I do think people aren't going to go abroad next year. So hopefully the campsites can flourish. Um, we have a great country, a lot of great places to go and see. Um, I hope people, more new people get into the caravanning and motorhoming and start to see a lot of the great um, country. And then hopefully on to next year. But what we'll do, I'll leave you with this. And have a happy new year. There is a lot of hard work yeah, that goes, that's involved in actually um, getting motorhomes and caravans out through the door. And it is tough at the top. I guess that might be us now. Yeah. Always on the road, I never now another Cathargo. And this one I really do mind. like. Oh, it's not Ranch. Now they really call it up. Now they really wish that I was so But so I don't want to party on my own. I don't want to feel so alone. Not alone. I made a couple of pairs on my own. Cap, who gets the fair for All they want to do is pay for it. Well, it's still a tight hole though, ain't it really? Yeah. <laughs> I got that completely wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Entrance. Entrance. <laughs> 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 Now this is a yeah. proper garage. On the corner I really said the boy barely from the back. Yeah, I could have took the boat. Yeah, I could have took the boat. Yeah, I'll be in the fuss. All my friends going up.
Yeah, who's the real plug now? I guess that might be us now.